everybody advisory lizard here um, we got some brand new 2k21 information or leaks that came out earlier today uh, and i just want kind of wanted to make a little video talking to you guys about what we got going on what they have um for us i guess uh, and we'll just jump right into it uh these are all brought to you uh by 2k20 nba 2k21 leaks and intel on twitter um he has it all posted there i'll link everything he has down below in the uh in the description if you want to check him out see what they got going on so right off the rip they're talking about badges um basically they're saying you know they took everyone what everyone thought about badges uh the big ones that i kind of bring from here or that they got rid of quick draw which i don't know how to feel about that because bringing back release speed lets us choose how quick we want the jump shot um but to be honest i think quick draw was a broken badge it forced you to slot three to four uh into a badge that you could have just had like as a slider i mean as we saw with this year everyone could shoot anyway so it doesn't really matter <laughs> that they even had it as a badge it didn't fix the problem they were trying to fix um so to me it's just kind of i think it's the same thing um i don't think that they're doing anything crazy with badges uh that is going to be game changing um, as we move on, uh, motion styles, this is talking about like the dribble styles, basically saying they're bringing animations to defense along with what they already had from the offensive end. Um, as far as what players do in game, it'll be more like what they do in real life. Uh, and apparently it's going to feel better. Uh, we'll see. De the defense has been kind of garbage in 2K for a while as far as on ball. Uh, it's just never worked. <laughs> uh, off ball is always so much better. So we'll see if their cha changes actually fix anything. Um, so there's that as well. As we keep moving on here, uh, they just had some more closing thoughts. These are apparently all from Mike Wang. Um, they brought the pro stick back. That's another thing. Uh, if anyone remembers that, it was um, from 2K17, I believe, where you was shooting, where you could go, you know, you could aim it the way you wanted. The bank it if that makes any sense so like if you wanted to bank the shot i think it was like up and right or up and left um on your right stick so you had directional shooting which i thought i always kind of like that i thought it was kind of interesting um to me at least as we'll close this and scroll on down and see what other information um this is more just talking about the pro stick feel free to pause the video at any moment if you want to read any of this or like i said check out nba 2k21 leaks and intel on twitter um and all this will be posted on their account as we go through shooting dribble moves yep this is see this is still talking about 2k17 uh just the shooting once again um they're adding new animations nothing new your, your typical information here um oh here this is this is kind of important right here is the hold right stick down equals a jump shot hold right stick left or right escape dribble moves right stick up signature size up size up moves tap the right stick quick one two tap right stick with sprint held quick momentum dribble moves i mean it's nothing new really it's nothing new uh it's the same stick setup we've had since forever like i don't know why they're trying to say it's different i mean it could feel different um you'll never know we won't know until we get our hands on the game which apparently there's a demo coming out here uh towards the end of august i think the 23rd or something like that so it wouldn't be this week but next week uh that we'll end up getting it um we saw it was a big opportunity to freshen up the game on the offensive end and past games you could Hold the pro stick in any direction, take a jump shot. That was limiting us from utilizing the right stick as a fully featured dribble stick. So basically what they're saying is they're removing how you shoot and basically using it more as dribbles. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know why they didn't do this before. I think using X to shoot just to me makes a lot more sense than not using it or square, or whatever. Um, for me, I play on Xbox, so it's X. I don't know why they ever wanted to def to uh, defer from that um, and have this right stick shot. I mean, the only time you use it is off a step back, and even then you don't really use it. Uh, so we scroll down, game time. Uh, this is basically the same thing. Uh, so point guards, actually this is kind of big. The max height for point guards is 6'8", um, which will be interesting to see what type of builds you can make with that. Because to me, it's like, okay, you know, we had the tall demigod builds back in 2K16, 2K15. I'm curious if they're going to return because we now are able to have a 6'8 
point guard, which I bet I mean it makes sense, you know. And and if they keep it realistic, then a six eight point guard, you're gonna be more of a passing guy, more of a finishing guy. You're not really gonna, you know, be shooting crazy threes. But I, you know, there is the opportunity to make a sharp shooting point guard is six eight. So we'll have to see. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with that and how they're gonna make that balanced in game. Um, as we keep going on. Uh, this is yeah. There's the demo right here. August twenty fourth for PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Um, the current gen will be on, will be coming out September 4th, uh, for all of you that are excited for it, that's a case you didn't know. Um, and really that's about it as far as information goes, um, to, to put it into perspective, I'm personally super excited to one, get rid of quick draw two to go back to just the dribbling, dribbling with the right stick. It just makes sense to me. I don't know why they ever decided to make right stick also shooting. Um, and I'm really excited for the demo that supposedly comes out September 24th. Now, this is all speculation. This isn't confirmed information. This all could be fake for all we know. Uh, to me, it looks pretty legit. But like I said, you never know with, you know, what people have, you know, with editing software and stuff. So I'm really excited for this. I don't know about you guys. I'll leave it down in the comments what you guys think of all the new leaks um, and what you guys want out of it, what you think about the new badges. Um, so subscribe if you're new here. Going to be posting anytime we get an update. On 2K21, it'll be here on this channel uh, as quick as I can make it. Kind of just giving my thoughts on it. I didn't really go in-depth. You can pause the video at any moment to see what you wanted. Uh, but yeah, subscribe if you're new here. Check out all my content. Uh, I'm really excited to make videos for you guys. Hi hype for Madden 21 coming out here in the next week. Uh, hype for 2K. Uh, it's going to be a great, great, great year for video games um, and for my channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below. And as always, have a great day. Peace. <laughs>